Alright everybody, in this video, I want to share with you some brutal truths about why agents, insurance agents, fail in the insurance industry. Saddle up, you may not like hearing it, but I'm going to tell it to you anyway because I care about you, okay? Insurance agents fail because of a lot of things, but this is what takes place nine times out of ten, okay? Before we get going, jasonfinalexpense.com. I partner, I coach, and I train some of the most amazing agents on the planet. If you need help, reach out. I'll help you in any way I can, and I mean that, okay? So insurance agents hop into insurance a lot of times with these, like, okay, fancy ideas of thinking that, like, I'm going to go ride this unicorn to freaking Mars right now. And let me tell you, you're not going to ride the unicorn to Mars in the beginning, okay? A lot of agents think they go to these career briefings, these rah-rah sessions that you're going to make millions of dollars of money, and you have never even passed your test, okay? You can make it. You can be very successful. There's tons of agents that are brand new in my agency that do phenomenal work and are very successful, but let me tell you, they are positioned properly. So why a lot of agents fail, okay, is crappy training okay crappy training will give a crappy result you have to have high-end training if you want or expect a high-end result training is key when you're brand new you're gonna need a lot of training okay you got to go through a good telemastery program if you're wanting to do final expense insurance or even a face-to-face -face insurance agent you need to make sure you're very well trained okay make sure you understand what to do, how to do, and have the mindset to proceed. If, okay, you're not being mentored right, that can also lead to failure, okay? A lot of agents will fail out of this space because of small things, small steps to the big goals, right? Well, a lot of times, small steps that become missteps and you fall, okay, without having a mentor that immediately picks you up, Gravity takes place, and you don't get back up. You fail. It's not because you are a failure. It's because you didn't have a mentor to help guide you and get you off the ground quickly. Okay? You don't want gravity to strike. A lot of agents fail because of lack of good mentorship. You've got people that really aren't invested in your success. They're invested in your failure. Okay? There's a lot of agencies out here. Okay, a lot of captive agencies, okay, even some independent agencies, they do exist. Their adage is that they actually make money off, okay, the burn. You know what that means? That means when you fail as an insurance agent, they take your renewals, they take your money, okay? A lot of agencies, okay, they're LOA, okay, meaning that the insurance agency gets paid the money and then you get your pay. My agency doesn't work that way, okay? I don't believe in that mindset. Treat people the way you want to be treated, right? So my agency, the carriers pay you directly, okay? No matter what happens, you're getting paid always from the carrier. Nobody gets to touch your money. That's kind of dirty, okay? But this does exist, okay? The old adage, they make money off the burn. That just means when you fail out, they take your renewals and go, thanks, have a great day, for whatever reason. Not cool. But you got to have good mentorship, okay? So good training, crazy important. Good mentorship, if you don't want to fail, is also important because let's just face it, you guys, we don't know what we don't know, especially when we're brand new. When I started off in insurance, I really didn't understand a lot about insurance. I knew a ton about telesales. I knew a ton about okay, telemarketing, but I knew nothing about the insurance industry at the time that I put my little foot in the water, okay? You've got to be in a position where you don't just put a toe in, okay? That isn't a toe, by the way. It's a finger. So I'm just saying, when you start off as an insurance agent, right, why a lot of agents fail is because they dabble. Don't dabble, okay? Think about, like, the best way to learn how to swim, even though it's painful, is getting pushed in, okay? You may feel like you're dying, but you're going to be okay. You're going to figure out how to doggy paddle real quick, okay? As an insurance agent, you've got to dive into the water. you got to get wet. Get up in there, okay? A lot of agents fail is because they put their little toe in the water and they go, oh, that's cold, I'm good, I'll try this maybe another day. 
they lacked the hustle muscle, the implementation necessary, because they weren't properly trained and didn't have good mentors saying, let's go, okay? Helping them learn how to swim on their own. So make sure as an insurance agent, if you don't want to fail, make sure you dive in, but don't dive in unless you've been properly trained. Vet your trainer, vet your trainer, vet your trainer. I cannot say this enough. So many people fail also because they don't vet their trainer. They're being trained by somebody that's equally as messed up as they are. Okay, they've got no proven success, no transferable skill set. And then you wonder why you're failing, you're floundering. Okay, another reason why agents fail is lack of leads, okay? You're being given leads from your agency, okay, that they like dole out like you're a little child getting an allowance. You need to control your own lead flow if you want to dominate and succeed in this industry. Control your lead flow, okay? You pay for your lead, you get your lead. It's nobody else's business, okay? They don't need to have access to it. If you're buying some lead, okay, whatever they want to call it through their pet company, or your captive agency company, your company should have zero access, okay, to your lead flow, okay? They shouldn't, okay? The men and women that partner my agency, it's none of my business. I help them get the best price on certain leads, but let me tell you, I've got no access to it. I don't get to see them. I don't get to view them. I don't know how many they purchase in a day. None of my business. If your agency is involved in that aspect of your business, be careful because a lot of insurance fail because it's not an exclusive lead. Your agency is sharing the lead that you paid for with how okay, many other people. Are you kidding me? Let's have a good lead, right? Have a good result because you've got better training, better mentorship, better lead flow that you control, okay? Make sure you stick and stay in the industry. A lot of agents fail because of the heart okay, game and the mind game. They don't have the heart to stick and stay. You're going to get told no a ton. You just will. You're going to get told no more than you've ever been told no in your career. A lot of insurance agents fail out because they don't understand or realize the necessity of the no. It's not always a no, okay? The objection in most cases is nothing more than a smoke screen but it's the real truth, okay? A lot of insurance agents fail because they thought it was an objection that was like a permanent roadblock, but in reality, it was a smoke screen. It was nothing. They didn't have good training. They didn't have good mentoring, okay? You gotta have good mentoring if you wanna make it through and be profitable, all right? You wanna be dominant and be an amazing force for good to serve your sweet clients. Make sure that you're being trained right, mentored right, coached right, and you've got good mindset, okay? Get ready to be told no. Understand that when you get your nose out of the way, your yes bus will run you over sooner or later. It is a numbers game. There's tremendous strength in numbers and in the laws of averages. You've got to trust it. A lot of people lose heart. Another reason why agents fail you may not like hearing it, is because they make excuses, okay? Whiners don't win. I know, you're going to hate the video. I'm sorry. It's the truth, okay? If you're over there licking your wounds, okay, making excuses, as opposed to the winning mindset of I'm going to do, not try. I'm going to do this, not try. I'm going to be, okay? A amazing agent today. I'm not going to be a failure, okay? You've got to quit whining and start winning. Quit thinking, start doing, okay? So many agents fail out because they lack one thing, and that's called the hustle muscle, okay? They're so busy whining about what they're not doing that, okay, they fail. Winners will do what the unsuccessful people who fail out are unwilling to do, a lot of insurance agents will fail, and they fail because of lack of vision, lack of leadership, lack of mentorship, lack of training. There is no substitute for high-end training, okay? I'm not here where I am in my career, and I've done this, okay, final expense, insurance, Medicare insurance, okay, and telesales, my goodness, over two decades, 20-plus years, okay? 
I'm not here by osmosis. I've been a student of the business. Never, never, never quit learning. You only go two ways. Failures go backwards, winners go forwards, okay? Winners don't have a reverse on their drive, okay? Their drivetrain goes one way and that's forward. Move forward. Winners don't whine. Winners make a way. Make a way. No matter what adversity comes your way, you're not going to go backwards. You're going to go through it. Make a way. All right? Be like that rhinoceros. Okay? Charge. Okay? Be a rhino. Okay? Don't be, okay, a possum that lays over and plays dead every time adversity strikes. Insurance agents that act like possums and go, huh? I'm going to roll on my back. I'm going to do nothing, okay? I'm going to just die right here, okay? It's a tough week, wah, okay? That wambulance will take you to one place, and that's, okay, the graveyard of every failed agent. Quit whining, start winning. Quit thinking, start doing. What and who is mentoring you? If you want to succeed as an insurance agent, let me tell you, start doing, quit thinking, okay? Quit putting your toe in the water, jump in. If you're a final expense telesales insurance agent, you've got to get through the sea of no's to find the lifeboat of the yes, and it's powerful. You've got to be intentional. You've got to bring, okay, the value to your consumer. It's not about your little happy thoughts that make you successful. It's about your happy habits, okay? Okay, we're not one of those guys that are painting pictures. You know what I'm talking about, okay? Happy thoughts ain't gonna do you nothing. Your habits will make you a winner. Your habits will keep you from failure or at least have the best odds of keeping you from failure. Be an agent that drives forward, that does, that does, that does, that meets needs, that helps people, okay? I went out today on a field trip, helped an amazing lady today, love this lady to death, okay? Her spouse passed away. You know how amazing it is to take care of good people, how rewarding it is? You know what, if I failed out as an insurance agent, she may have never had a policy, Winners, okay, will make a way to serve their consumers. Be a winner. I know you guys are, okay? Don't take the path that other insurance agents have taken to the dead end of failure where they just get beat up in the industry because they went down the wrong road, okay? Don't do that. Go down the right paths, the right roads, okay? Early on, vet your trainer, get good training, get good mentoring, have a good mindset, have a good skill set, have a good work ethic, and for all goodness sakes, you hate hearing it, quit whining, okay? Start winning. Quit thinking. Start doing. Start doing. Start doing. You guys are winners, okay? Let's go. Giddy up. Do what you know because you've been trained well. When you go through the tough times, you know you've got a mentor that has your back and has heard the objection a skillion times, okay? It's not new to them. Make sure you're being trained by professionals that know what you want to do. Let me tell you, there's a lot of folks in the industry that train on things that they've never done. Doesn't mean they can't do it, but do y'all really think it's as successful? I'm just saying. Don't do heart surgery on me and don't train me to do heart surgery on somebody else if you've never done it, okay? There's people that train on Medicare insurance that have never sold Medicare in their dang career, okay? There's people that sell, okay, that try to train people on telesales that have truthfully never done telesales, probably never sold 50 in their lifetime, okay? Make sure you vet your trainer. Make sure wherever you go, you're in a good place. Treat your insurance career with the importance that it deserves, okay? Your career depends on it. If you want to be a million-dollar roundtable agent, then guess what? Do the work necessary. It comes to work, okay? It really does come down to work, okay? It doesn't come down to whining. <laughs> I know you guys are going to hate this video so much. It's the truth, though. You want to become a million-dollar roundtable agent? Quit whining. 
that you're not going to ever get there because you whined there, okay? You got there because you worked and you served and you focused on your consumer. That's what will get you there, okay? You know, get you there in a hurry, okay? Your hustle and your grind and your intensity to serve your client will get you to the Million Dollar Roundtable, location of your dreams okay it'll make you a successful insurance agent that understands the heart of your consumer not the hurt that you feel when you get told no and i'm not saying no feels good nobody likes getting run over by the struggle bus and let me tell you a lot of insurance agents okay get their toe run over by a no or two and guess what they're out of the game it didn't kill you i've been told no a ton Okay, I've been a face-to-face -face agent in the past. I've been slapped. Didn't even do anything. It didn't matter. This woman was crazy. Okay, this does happen in your career. You will have adversity. How do you choose to respond to adversity? It will define you. It will help you to understand how strong you are. You're a strong agent. Stick and stay. You want to make it in this industry? Be ready. Okay, for adversity, it will strike. If you're a face-to-face -face agent, get ready to smell some things you wish you never had to ever smell. But you're going to have to if you're a face-to-face -face agent. Get ready to have tires, okay? Pop on you. Be ready for crazy stuff to happen, okay? As a final expense, face-to-face, -face, or Medicare insurance agent, okay, that goes face-to-face. -face. As a final expense, telesales agent, what's the worst that happens to us? They say naughty words and hang up on us, tell us no. This is not a hard place, but let me tell you, insurance agents fail because they can't take the no. They don't have the heart and the mental strength to pursue the heart of your consumer because you get debilitated when you're told no. Insurance agents fail because of the no bus running them over and they lose certainty. They lose Okay, where they knew they needed to go. They were thinking, not doing. Okay, make sure you've got a good mentor. What and who is mentoring you? Make sure you're partnered with a good agency. Sometimes you're in the right race. You're on the wrong horse. Okay, you want to be a good insurance agent, but you're partnered wrong. Okay, it's like a bad marriage. Don't do that. Make sure you're partnered in a good place that gives you value, hope, okay, to succeed, but more importantly, gives you the skill set, the mindset, okay, to succeed with all levels of certainty. You deserve to succeed. This is a time-tested, noble profession. It's given me more things in my life, okay, than I could ever imagine as an insurance agent, just a humble insurance agent, serving a lot of good people. And let me tell you, it's the most rewarding place to be as an insurance agent, okay, when you make it. And when you fail, it hurts, Okay, when you get told no, yes, it hurts. When the struggle bus happens and you seem to be catching all your nose for two days straight and then you don't have the guts to hang in there for the yes train, okay, to happen. When the yes, the yes train happens to you, it's phenomenal, but you've got to stick and stay. You've got to have the guts, okay, to hang in there. you got to have the guts, okay, to say, you know what, I'm going to reach out to my mentor right now and get help, okay. You want to, like, do it on your own. That's called a kamikaze pilot. A lot of insurance agents fail because they act like kamikaze pilots. I'm going to do this on my own. Wee! Poof! And they're gone. They destroyed themselves because they did everything on their own. The best agents on the planet have a good mentor. Okay? The best agents on the planet have good mindset. The best agents on the planet have good instruction, good skill set, good work set. And they're okay being told no. They've got thick skin, but they've got a loving, soft heart. You've got to be ready to go. Don't fail. Too many agents fail because they partnered wrong. Okay, They were trained in inefficient ways by inefficient people that weren't giving them the help they needed. Stay in the industry, you guys. A lot of agents fail unnecessarily. Don't let this be you. Mentor right train right get your leads right make sure your agency doesn't have access to your lead flow none of their business okay it really isn't control your outcome control your destiny 
so that you can have all levels of certainty to continue serving these great people. Don't let this be you. What and who is mentoring you? Okay, find a good mentor. May not be me, maybe somebody else, but get somebody that you resonate with that can help you get through the journey. And it is a journey. It's an amazing, okay, calling. It's an amazing profession. It's an amazing career, but it's a horrible job. <laughs> All right, I hope this helps you. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. If this helps you, I hope it does. Have a phenomenal day tomorrow. I hope the yes train runs you over. Be successful. Be great. Thanks, you guys.